Hi, Dave Knight here. My uh, prickly pear cactus in front of my house is out in full bloom and I am harvesting some of the flowers for drying in a tea because it is supposed to have properties for prostrate. It also has other properties. Uh, it's high in un polyunsaturated fats, which is good for your heart. It's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, lowers cholesterol and uh, has shown to cure diabetes, but the quantity that you would need causes kidney stones. If you cut these pads in half and put them on a burn or a wound, they have antiseptic, antibacterial properties. Long used by Native Americans more in the southwest, here being in Ontario, this is kind of the northern range, but apparently, to Wikipedia, these things can get 18 feet tall. The pads here are eh, a little on a thin side, but it was down to negative temperatures last winter for about four weeks, and it's still here. Uh, cactus can grow in southern Ontario. Um... Apparently, the uh, pads can be eaten boiled. Each of these flowers will develop a fruit. Now, those you can pick, and they don't have the, uh, the pickers on them yet. So, those you can skin, and you can eat those raw. The pads, apparently, you have to boil them or prepare them. And I've had it, like, in a guava before at a wild game dinner. It's not bad. But it is high in calcium, potassium, and magnesium. So I'm just going to take these flowers and dehydrate them and put them in a jar. And uh, if I need a tea, I'll put some of that in there and I should get the uh, goodies out of it. Might try some of the fruit. Uh, if I do, I'll let you know. But if you're going to do the pods this time of year, is the time to do it. Because the younger green ones do not have the... Uh, little pickers fish hooks that get in your hand uh, the older ones uh, kind of leave them alone anyway that's the uses of prickly pear cactus something that uh, is at its northern range